Good morning. My name is Professor Bridget Hayward and I'm the Vice-Chancellor for the University of New England. And it's my great pleasure this morning to talk about one of our new initiatives, which is the New England Virtual Hospital Network. So this is a project which recognises the, the need for healthcare. Um, is a, a great challenge when you're in remote and rural communities. And rather than assuming that every patient can come to the hospital, this is about taking the hospital to the patients. Most of the time these patients will be either suspected of having uh, COVID-19 or confirmed as having COVID-19. And there's some fairly clear criteria about the reasons that they need to go to hospital and the reasons that they can stay at home. It means we don't take up hospital beds. Also means that we don't miss out on patients who are deteriorating and getting worse quietly because that's one of the tricks with COVID-19 is that people can be really quite unwell but they don't necessarily know about it and it's just the nature of the disease and how it interacts with some people. The equipment is a wristband that communicates with a tablet so the wristband um, is relatively bulky but it contains all of the all of the brains and processing around what uh, all is brought out by a, a little finger cuff that looks at pulse and blood pressure and a lot of things that are derived from that pulse and blood pressure. That wristband then communicates with a data tablet and the data tablet then communicates with us here at the Tablelands Clinical School and it will give us the same data that the patient would see on their tablet but we get it as a live screen complete with some warnings and things like that so that we can respond to those warnings and not be sitting there rifling through 200 screens at a time. And this addresses the fact that we don't have sufficient clinical personnel to be distributed across the whole of our remote and rural regions here in New England and, and similar domains around Australia and it allows for high quality care but in a distributed mode using technology as the mediator for that activity.